What happened? Why are you crying? My teddy bear does not eat anything. I am giving him chocolate but he's not eating. But teddy bears don't eat anything. But why do they not eat anything? Oh, because they are non-living things. But we eat things. See, even my little Tommy is eating. Because you, me and animals are living things. Living things, non-living things. I don't understand. Okay, let's understand it. You know, the whole world is made up of living and non-living things. Like your teddy bear, this picture on the wall, this table and the fan. These are all non-living things. Okay, I understand. Now please, can you tell me the names of a few living things? Um, you, me, Tommy uh, and the tree in the garden outside are all living things. But how can we know which thing is living and which thing is non-living? Very good question. It is very easy. Come, let's learn about the differences in the living and non-living things. Look at this chart. On the one side, I have written living and on the other side, I have written non-living. So now, you will write the differences between the two, right? Yes, you're right. You are my genius brother. Yes, I am. Because I watch MakeMeGenius.com every day. <laughs> <laughs> Let's start writing the differences. Tell me one difference between you and this fan. Oh, the fan does not eat anything. And even the teddy bear does not eat anything. So let's write the first difference. Living things eat and non-living things don't eat. I know one more. I breathe in and breathe out. But my teddy bear does not do that. Wow! You are right. Living beings breathe and non-living things don't breathe. Let me write it with my magic wand. See that? Tommy just told us the other difference. Tommy and we can move, but non-living things can't move. Yes, this picture on the wall, table and teddy bear can't move. Let's also note this down. So now we know three differences between living beings and non-living things. I can eat, I can move. I can breathe, I am a living thing. You are a good dancer. But I have one confusion. Look at this fan. It is moving. You said it is a non-living thing. But then, how is it moving? Hmm, okay. You see, Jimmy, this fan is not moving by itself. It is moving because of electricity. But you, me and your teddy bear don't need electricity to help us move. Let's look on the road from this window. Look at those cars. They are moving on the road. But I know that these are moving because of gasoline or fuel. They can't move by themselves. So now you know the secret behind movement of non-living things. Do you want to learn more about the differences between these two? Yes, this is very interesting. I told you three differences. Now it is your turn. Hmm. Hmm. Let's look at this picture. Who is this with mom and dad? Ha ha ha! It is me when I was smaller. So now you've grown up, correct? Yes! Everybody grows up and becomes bigger and bigger. Look at you! Even you have grown up and become bigger. 
Can this table become bigger? No, even my teddy bear did not grow up. It's of the same size even in the picture. That's absolutely correct. That is the difference. Living beings grow up, but non-living beings don't grow up. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> you tickled me. I just touched you and you're laughing. Let me touch this table. Let's see whether it laughs. Nothing will happen to it. It is a non-living thing. It will not respond. You are a smart boy. You've told me the fifth point. Living things respond while non-living things don't respond as they don't have senses like eyes, ears, nose, etc. Yeah, you're right. I feel hungry whenever I see a pizza. So, let's write the fifth point. That's senses in the living things and non-living things don't have senses. So now you know why your teddy bear did not eat your chocolate.